Guys, it looks like the MVP interview is almost ready to go. We're getting extremely close here. Here we go. Let's go ahead. I'll hand it over to Jason. Hi, this is Jason, your translator. Here we have Faker for the interview. So your performance was great since the wild cards. So how do you feel for getting MVP points in a row? Yeah, I had good feeling before the game and I'm really happy to get the MVP points. I really want to maintain this form for the next game. Your Q contribution for the first game was 100%. So are you satisfied from today's match? Yeah, I think I'm fully satisfied with my first and second game, but I think I made a lot of mistakes in the third one, so I'm kind of like not very satisfied, but overall, yeah, I'm kind of happy. And you got quadra kills and you even dived into their base. Did you want the pen and kill? Well, I wasn't really aware that I was able to get the pen to kill, but... Well, I just actually just able to make some kills, so I just tried to go into their basement, but I think I could survive, I couldn't. So after the first game, I think the players looked up to you and said, send you some message. What did they say? So it's really rare that you carried the game, so I think they're weird. Then the second game, uh, Fates had kind of rough game in the early moment. How did you play the game? Yeah, I think we had to make some points in the early games, but we failed it. So I think Samsung was in the lead, but in the late game, we had more power in the team fight. So I thought we were OK. So we kind of play slowly and maintain to the late games. Well, in terms of playoff, you kind of surprised Big Fizz in, as a midline. What are your plans? It's really good champion with a composition with the jungler to get lead in the mid lane. So Faker was the first and second set MVP. Then let's check out the MVP for the third game. Well, we know it's not going to be Faker, so who's it going to be? Bang! 7-0-2, had the most kills on his team and did not die a single time. There was no gigantic play that he made in this game, just played a pretty good Callista. Oh, it all started from Stitch with a generous donation into the bottom side. He saw the opportunity because the Devour had gone down, but too greedy. And then with the recall with Rocket jumping down, ended up giving another kill. We know how it ended. Here he is. And we're back with Ben. So how do you feel for today's match? So we have three days for preparing the KT roster. So we are going to practice really hard. And I will make sure that I'm going to do my best before the match. And the damage damage you put in the game two was really um, like impossible, like over 40,000, but didn't you expect to get the MVP points? Well, actually, I, I was aware that I made a lot of mistakes, so I wasn't really thinking of getting MVP points. And also, our bottom laners had a lot of hard times during the game. Then how was the game too as, uh, as a mid lane? I didn't put a lot of damage, so I, I kind of thought that I might miss the MVP, but <laughs> I, I actually thought that I would be the MVP in myself. Because I landed my ult really well. So do you agree with him? Well, not, not fully, but... But actually, yeah, he kind of opened team fights really well, so it, he he helped me a lot with damage dealing. I was kind of free, free dealing in the back line, so it was yeah, it was thank you, thankful for the Faker's fizz.
then how did you prepare for the game three? They had like three, three new players coming in for the Samsung booth. Well, before preparing for the game, the whole eight players of SKT, we kind of had a conversation over it more than eight hours to make sure we do not, we never miss any facts, points. So we talked about our mistakes and some points that we have to improve. So I think it's kind of, we kind of prepared with, with, with our long conversation. Uh, then in terms of pick and bends, yeah, we kind of was in a lead overall, so we can play much comfortably. And last words for their semifinals. So starting from the bottom, we have two matches done, and we're going to make sure to win the next match. And then last message for your fans. Thank you for supporting us a lot today. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to perform my best at the KT Roaster game. And for the last, we're going we're gonna to bring Coach Goma for the interview. There are a lot of fans supporting you. How do you feel for today? Well, the playoff isn't over yet, so I don't have much to say, but I think we showed all we prepared, so I'm really happy. Is there anything that you couldn't expect from Samsung today? Well, unexpected things? What? Like what? Well, like first picking the red side. Well, actually, I just didn't really think of the pick and bend sides because as a blue side, I had plans for it. And as a red side, I also had plans for it. So I didn't really care about it a lot. So you said you have shown all you prepared. So what kind of points were it? Yeah, I think they pre performed really well, but there are some points that they made some mistakes, so I think we ha still have to make improvements. Then, so the upcoming opponent is KT Roaster, so are you going to have the six hours of conversation again? So, well, the hours doesn't really matter, I think we, but it's really important to have a long conversation. Any message for your players? I really, I really want to thank them for playing so well today. So people say that you actually don't need to worry, worry about SK Telecom because they do so well every time. Is there any last word you want to say? Well, as a pro gamer, the most important thing is winning. So we'll do our best to win all the games. And thank you for your support and love.